Hey YouTube, it's Friday, and before I show what soul videos in this video, we're gonna go into Crazy Cas Boys. In my videos before, so basically on on Thursday night they stock for for today restock and everything seven dollars, and tomorrow will be five. And they told me they stock when they close on Friday night too. Um, and then after that, it's just what's ever left goes keeps pricing down until they get rid of it all. Um, and they're closed Thursday to restock again. But anyway, let's go see what we find. And I can't film in here because they uh, they play music. So, all right, all right, y'all. It's my haul today. I say I did pretty good. Hey guys, so it's still Friday, and let's pull some orders. Uh, I did 12 or 13 yesterday for 440 plus dollars. Uh, let's get the first one. First one is RoboCop 3 for NES, sold for $39.99. Alright, the next item is Led Zeppelin. It's a physical graffiti, the inner sleeves only. So the album came with a bunch of records. Or what am I talking about? So I got a bunch of records from a storage locker. And that album was just shot. And so was the uh, outside cover. So I just sold the inner sleeves. $17.99. Next up is this uh, train car that I accidentally picked up yesterday, but it's for the ship out today. It sold for $49.99. Next up is another Fenton piece. Sold this bell. I believe it's this one for $34.99. But I need to double check. Cause there's a blue one. Yeah, it was this one. Next up is a it's a Fibar Copamante, if I'm saying it right. It's a porcelain ju uh, tulip. I got this a long time ago at an estate sale for a couple dollars. I actually got hit two of them. I already sold the other one, but this sold for twenty two. 47. All right, the next up is a couple NES games, Super NES games. Uh, I got these in a locker um, last March for $90. I uh, made really good money off that locker. Uh, but these sold for $22.27. All right, so another album, uh, Saxon Denim and Leather. Sold for $19.99. Next one's a pretty good sale. I I picked this up at the uh, last estate sale I went to uh, for eleven dollars. It sold global shipping program for seventy one ninety seven. Right, next item is a Sony three D Walkman at a price for thirty nine ninety nine. Somebody asked if I would take thirty for it, and I said sure, no problem. So I sent them. An offer, and they paid. Next is another record, uh, Top Gun soundtrack, brand new. Bought it at Walmart, it was on half off, so I got it for $20, I think, or 18 something like that. Anyway, when I first bought it, the record was selling for like 50 bucks, and uh, but nobody bought, bought mine. I should be helped if I was on the T's, there it is right in front. So this movie's been postponed quite a bit because of COVID. And I should have just kept it at 50. Next up is a Nuremberg, like a village wall hanging. Uh, I put in the description that it was resin, but it could be wood. It looks old. I got it at this last estate sale for like $2 and it sold for $19.79. And it sent a best offer to watchers so they might have got a good deal maybe if it's actually wood but I can't really tell 
Last item of the day is these uh, Happy Meal toys. Toy Story 2. Sold these for $62.99 when I sent the offer to watchers. And the cool thing is, I have another complete set. Alright, that's it for today. Um, here, in a second, you'll, for you, I'm going to show you what I bought at Crazy Cas Boys. A couple pairs of shoes will pay for the whole lot. So, I did a pretty good day. Alright guys, this is the first bag of stuff I bought at that uh, crazy Caz Boys place. Um, let's go over some things. So the first item is a stud of winter game. It's sealed. The cellophane is ripped, but it's still sealed enough. Um, lowest price right now is $27.99. Uh, but there's a high sell-through rate, so I'm pretty sure I can get $35.99 for this. Um, this thing right here, box is pretty messed up. These are selling for $35 to $40. New in the box, coming from China. So I'm thinking loose with no box. I probably can get 30 bucks for this also. Um, next up is this uh, pair of sh what's stay how do you say it? Stahicum brand uh, slippers. Again, I think I can get $35 for these. These are like they've never been worn. Next up is this brand of boots. Um, it's called Pro Pet. Uh, they're like they've never been worn. They still got the styrofoam. In, in there um, these brand this shoe was listed for between 80 and 150 new um, there's no solds there's plenty of solds for that brand though so I'm thinking I could probably undercut by quite a bit and get I don't know 50 to 75 dollars for those um, next up are these uh, baseball cleats it's getting baseball season I'm thinking I could get 30 to 35 for these uh, they did get scuffed up in the bag so hopefully I can get those out. Um, this one's kind of funny. These are Keen work boots. They're actually used. They have somebody's bought a new pair of Keen and then returned these. Um, there's definitely wear. Definitely been worked in. Um, they're not awful, but those are those should get me anywhere between uh, forty to seventy five dollars probably used. I couldn't really find the exact brand. Actually, the exact shoe. Uh, but it's a good brand. Same with these uh, Nikes. Uh, I think these are running shoes. Uh, these are brand new. Um, I'm probably getting $35.40 for that. Uh, this is a, a Mark New York down jacket. It's a 2X for women. I saw this exact one sell at auction for $19.99 plus $10 shipping. So I'm thinking I could sell this for $39.99. Uh, this shoe is called Shoes for Crews. I've actually never heard of them. And this, this is probably a bad buy because I didn't look at them close enough. I'm not gonna be able to sell these new. They have bubble gum on the, on the bottom of the sole. There's no way I'm gonna be able to clean that and make it look new. So new, I'm thinking 40. Used, I don't know. 20 25 dollars but i don't know that's it for the first bag uh this actually came out of the second bag these two things um this was all one bag i got so i got a bag and a half left all right here's the rest of the stuff i got today uh first off these nike softball cleats uh this is probably a bad buy i don't think i'm gonna be able to get 35 for them uh, i'm gonna try it's getting to that season anyway, and I'm hoping this year kind of returns back to normal. Uh, this pair, this is called a Johnson Milan. Um, these are pretty nice looking shoes, and I've seen the brand selling for pretty decent money. You know, maybe 35 for these two, 40 bucks. Um, same for these Adidas Afterburner 6 cleats. Um, I couldn't find this pair. But I'm hoping for another, you know, 35 to 40. This is Sam Edelman Heels. It has half the box, but I won't sell it with the box. Um, I saw this exact shoes priced for $65 plus shipping new, but uh, no solds. So I might be able to price it for 50 
Um, these are New Balance uh, baseball cleats. These are 4040 version 5s. I'm thinking I can get $35 a piece for those, maybe $45. I kind of I forgot. I'll be honest with you because I tried looking all this up. And these are New Balance Topilo. I'm hoping to get 30 for those also as well. Um, next up is this uh, Coletti. I wasn't going to buy this, but then I saw it said for rigged outdoor use or whatever. And as I only looked that up, $35 for that. I might be able to get $45 uh, if I sell it brand new. But I have to open it and make sure. Um, I didn't look these up. I, um, these are kids cleats, but I bought them because they were, they're were they're Nike Phantom and they have ghost laces. And I did see a couple pair, not this colorway, sell for, were priced at $100. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping, you know, like I said, 40 bucks for them. Uh, a new pack of Adidas underwear. I'm thinking I can get $25 for that. And it's, it'll ship first class. This I can, I'm going to get about $20 for. And it's going to ship first class. Um, this, call, this brand is called uh, Forte Milan. So I'm guessing it might be the same brand as that other shoes I showed. That they're really nice. Can, nice. So some of these shoes I might sit have to sit for a while, uh, but that's okay. See, these are Nike's cleats again. Like these are brand new. Uh, they're Tempo, Tiempo. Uh, these things are priced all over the place. I couldn't find a solid blue pair with a white uh, swoosh, so I'm not exactly sure what I can get for those. I was excited to find these if you don't know about Foot Joy. That's a really good golfing brand of shoes. These are brand new. Looks like somebody bought them and it didn't fit and sent them back. Um, the sizes are kind of small for men's, but they're, they're selling for $60 to $70 on eBay right now. And then this pair of heels I bought. Uh, these are definitely fancy heels. Um, that's the brand name there. So I'm hoping to get $40, $50 for those two. I bet they won't sell for a long time, though. That has to be, that's like, looks like a formal pair of heels. All right, well, I'm done for the day. Uh, when I go buy liquidation stuff like this, I'm trying to at least double my money. Like, I'd rather, I'd, I'd love tripling five times, ten times my money on stuff. Who doesn't? But um, it's a little harder in those places to find home runs um i did found a really cool pair of cycling shoes that were selling for like a hundred hundred dollars plus on ebay used uh, but they were broke so i was really bummed about that that was gonna basically pay for most this whole purchase um so out the door i spent 196 dollars and um i'll recoup that money definitely but like i said it's not going to be fast money probably because some of the shoes are off sizes and uh, um it's not gonna be super duper money either but it's you know it's good for me so hey guys it's sunday uh decided not to do anything yesterday um not pulling orders today or nothing just need to get some photos taken basically it's, basically it's what you all saw a few seconds ago this table worth of stuff probably about 20 listens the shoes over there too. All right, so let's get to work. Hey guys, today's Monday, and let's pull some orders. Uh, first two I already pulled over the weekend because I was um, <clears throat> putting stuff I took put photos on on those shelves, so I just put them up. But the first th two things are these these New Balance shoes that I'm listed probably for two years. Um, surprised me, they're very good condition. They've actually passed my mold sniffing test, so they don't smell like mold. And these sold for $44.97, free shipping. Next this is Fenton Bell. Uh, and it's sold for $25.19, free shipping. And that's going to China through GSP program. Next up are some Beanie Babies. Happy Meal Toys. So I sold this set of uh, Beanie Babies from 2000 for $28.49. 
All right. Next up is this uh, Victorian building kit for Lionel and this municipal building kit from Lionel. This one's sealed, sold for $49.99 free shipping. And this one's sold for, is opened, but not un put together for $48.99 free shipping. Um, both the same buyer. All right, next up is another Lionel piece. This is for a Lionel tractor trailer in the box, sold for $24.99 free ship. Next up is a new old stock vintage Dale Earnhardt uh, t-shirt. Still has the tags on it. I got it out of a $90 locker last March and it's in one of these uh, bags here. Can't think what they're called all of a sudden. Right next up is a socket, a vintage Walden socket. It's a one inch by five sixteenths. This sold for twelve thirty two free shipping. It's probably gonna cost about four dollars a ship because it's pretty close to a pound. <laughs> Feels like it anyways, probably ten ounces. But I got this in a huge tote of tools where I've long made my money back, so any little dime is profit for those at this point. All right, next up is one of those books. It was in one of my past videos. I got these at an estate sale, 25% off day, so the second day. It's called The Golden Bow, a uh, two-book set. Okay, I got random things falling over there. Anyway. I uh, sent a best offer out on this for $134.99, and it's sold. This is a limited edition book club edition, so it's signed by the illustrator, and it's only limited to 1,500 copies. I paid about, well, paid $6.25 for it. Next up is a vintage copper spice rack made by Benjamin in Medwin. I uh, sent a best offer. An offer out to watchers and sold this for $62.47. Paid $5 for it at a thrift store. Right, next up is this printer cartridge. Conveniently left on top. Sold it for $19.99 free shipping. Paid $7 for this, so not a huge money maker. Next up is the album. Michael Mantler, I think is the name. Sold it for $14.97. Oh look, the last one. Convenient. Never heard of this guy, but I think it's Jazz. Next up is another one of those uh, book club books. So I paid $6.50 for it, or $6.25. And it's called, this one's called the Pancha Tantra. I'll probably butcher in that. Um, but this one's also signed and numbered. This one sold for $107.99. All right, next up is a Christmas item. It's this egg right here. So this is a music box, but the music box doesn't work. I've had this listed for probably a good two years almost. Um, probably paid a dollar for it, the Goodwill. Uh, sold for $14.97, so not that great. Right, next up is a fitting piece. It's one of these teddy bears here. Sold this guy for $15.99, free shipping. So I said it has a May birthstone in the title. That's a screen. And I don't know, maybe that's why it's sold, maybe not. All right, next up are these dimmer switches. This is not for a fan. I sold three of them. One to one person and two to another for $31.99 a piece. So $62 there for a sale. Not bad. I still got four of those left. Right, next up is some more Lionel. Sold this Rico train station here. The uh, box is pretty rough and the pieces aren't put together, but they're de-pegged. So I didn't even know if it's complete. Of course, I disclosed all that. Um, sold for $49.99. All 
Next up is a Johnny Lightning uh, GTO hardtop. So right here it was in the third row. I checked the last row. I checked, of course. Um, Twelve ninety nine free shipping. Right, next up is a sand wedge, a uh, grass and sand system by McGregor. Sold for twenty four and some change. Forgot the change, but it was the best offer. Ten percent off this uh, watcher. Yep. Had that for a while. Good to get rid of it. All right, next up is the NES game, Bubble Bobble, in the box, sold for $49.99. Also sold a pair of these cleats I just listed yesterday. Sold these ones for $29.99, free shipping. So not a huge profit on there after fees and uh, shipping. And what I spent, I'll probably make 8 or $9 profit on it. Last item, somebody just bought it and they accepted my offer over the weekend, so I don't have to ship it till tomorrow. But I'll go ahead and get it out. It's going to California. These uh, Silverado badges. They're from the Crazy Casboys place. I paid, I think this was on five dollar day. I don't remember. Uh, but they're light. They'll go first class in a tube mailer I got. So these sold for twenty six ninety nine. All right, it wraps up this video. Um, I appreciate you watching. Uh, do me a favor, if you like the content, hit the thumbs up button. Or if you didn't like it, smash that thumbs down. Either way, it doesn't matter to me. Um, and hit the bell icon to subscribe to get notifications when I post new content. Um, thank you for watching and have a good one.